No, is it the last one? Oh man, so this is Comet, part four, Avatar Aang. This is it. Top, metal bend the rudder so it's jammed in a turning position. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned how sweet it is that you invented metal bending? You could stand to mention it more. I mean, it's pretty sweet she invented metal bending. Yeah, there it is. That was awesome. Bye, but space sword. Aw, we'll get it back. It looks like this is the end. What the who is that? Oh, is it? It's Suki. Nice. Wait, it's the Avatar State? How do you manage that? Hmm, nice. Is it a fire octopus? Fire octopus style. Awesome. All four elements. He's a full avatar. 100 years old, still doing his thing. Oh, that's, that feels so good, Iroh burning the flag. <laughs> that needed to happen. They're giving me more than I asked for in terms of things coming full circle and everyone getting the closure they need. So far. But that just leaves... Azula and Katara. At least he's alive. Does she have any water? Why doesn't she just blood bend? Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I know she can't. Nor should she. Oh, there's water. She just freeze them both. Oh, that's so cool. Oddly, that that seems like such a simple and non-violent thing, but weirdly, that seems like the most expert skill Katara has used. I've joked so much about her being a deadly force and killing indiscriminately and stuff like that. It shows a different side of her, like a calm side of her that she resolved that in such a peaceful way. It's cool. Wow, Katara's the one who beats Azula. I wouldn't, I didn't guess that. That's cool. Hang on, Zuzu. Thank you, Katara. Good. I think I'm the one who should be thanking you. Nice. That's the really nice. Oh. Yeah, I feel I do feel bad for her. What a crippling experience. We still have to see how this gets resolved with Aang choosing to kill or not to kill him. I'm gonna stop it here and just say that it's amazing. The way they animated it and conceived of the fight, it's so artfully done. <laughs> octopus style again. That was an important style. You make a fine octopus, pupil Aang. Not gonna kill him. I'm not 
gonna end it like this. You are still weak. Nice. What's he doing? Bending Ozai's energy? Is that what he's doing? That's what the turtle taught him? It's incorruptible. I took away your fire bending. Wow. You can't use it to hurt or threaten anyone else ever again. That was a great solution. Thank you, Turtle. <laughs> he looks so adult now. Nice symbolism there, putting out the fire. That's great. He's the true avatar. It seems like the turtle in some ways is representative of one of the major themes of the show, which is that there's a similarity and a harmony between all the elements. Aang seemed like he was able to go one step beyond the four elements to maybe some common element that they all had. And I think there's a larger theme there as well. Going back to something I talked about before, if you can experience those things without giving into them, it helps you have sympathy, it helps you understand. Aang was able to accept the things of Ozai and still shield himself from them and that was enough to help him overcome Ozai without killing him. I gotta think about that a little bit more, but that's how I'm reading it right now, my first impression. And here's my second impression. <laughs> I know that in a way this is cheating, but I feel like there's a lot left unsaid. It occurred to me later after reading some of the comments that the turtle might actually be a point of contention for a lot of people because it just kind of shows up, right? And it seems to give Aang a way out that very conveniently fixes the problem. But looking back, I think it works really well as a, as a symbol, actually. I think the turtle represents a solution to a problem that's existed for Aang throughout the entire show. We've seen that he was pushed into being the Avatar. And the more I think about it, the more I think that the Avatar system maybe is broken or it's incomplete. If this kind of thing can happen, if Roku can fail this badly and if Aang can be forced to do these terrible things, then it seems like an incomplete solution. And I think Aang's journey was waking up to that fact. I actually think that it makes sense to think about it as Aang having called the turtle out. Because the turtle represents harmony of all things. It's the meta layer above the system, the very human system of the nations and the Avatar. And Aang was directly seeking that as a solution to the deep inner turmoil he had. It's like higher wisdom. It's always there, it, ex it exists to be found, but it's very difficult to find. And Aang struggled constantly to reach a point where he got there. Thank you for putting up with my reaction cheating, but if Aang can find a new way, so can I. You did it! You should have seen yourself! It was amazing! It was you amazing. Nice to have some comic relief. I learned there was another way to defeat him and restore balance. I took his bending away. Wow, who taught you that? A giant turtle. lion turtle. Yeah. Well, look at you, Buster. Now that your fire <laughs> Buster. gone, I guess we should call you the Loser Lord. I am the Phoenix King. He was reborn as a normal person, I guess. Didn't mean to offend you, Phoenix King of getting his butt whooped. Yeah. Or how about King of the guys who don't win? Leave the nicknames to us, honey. She and Sokka are a great match. Ugh. You need some help with that? May, you're okay. So does this mean you don't hate me anymore? I think it means I actually kind of like you. Hmm. May played her cards right. She's not bored now, is she? But don't ever break up with me again. Yeah, I, I think they make a good pair. May's come a long way in my mind. Wow. Everyone's here. Dad! Dad! You made it. 
I am the proudest father in the world. And your mother would be proud too. So how's it feel to be back in uniform again? It feels great! The Tai Lee? <laughs> Careful, Suki! Tai Lee's pretending to be a Kyoshi warrior again. Nice! That's a good fit it's for her. It's okay. She's one of us now. The girls and I really bonded in prison. And after a few chief walking lessons, they said I could join their group. Interesting that Tai Lee ends up with a large group of girls. Look at Angus. Angus is on another level now. I can't believe a year ago my purpose in life was hunting you down. And now... And now we're friends. More than friends. I can't believe a year ago I was still frozen in a block of ice. The world's so different now. And it's gonna be even more different. Where we build it together. That's so sweet. And this is also representative of the end of the conflict between the sides they represent. The conflict started with Sozin and Roku. Their descendants have made peace, and hopefully they won't make the same mistakes that their predecessors did. But I think that because Zuko's had this experience, it's hard to imagine him giving into the same urge for power. Maybe in a sense that's why Ozai went so wrong. It was things that he inherited. One of the things I've come to realize about the show is that one of the major themes is inheritance. The relationship between your inheritance and your own identity. We've seen a lot of characters blindly accept things from their predecessors, and that's often led them astray. It obviously led Azula astray. It led Zuko astray at first when he was looking for his honor. It also led Aang astray, because the role of Avatar was thrust on him prematurely, and it was the suffering from that fact that led him to disappear and, and hide in the ice. Then we saw it here again with Aang rejecting the notion from the past Avatars that he has to kill Ozai, although they didn't explicitly say he had to do that. And we also see Zuko breaking out of it. He explored it all the way, but then made the decision for himself that it's not who he really was. We also saw it with Iroh. Iroh became who he is by awakening to the, to the legacy he had inherited and rejecting it. So it's a big theme in the show, and I think it's something very relevant to real life. A lot of who we are comes from our best guess as children as to how to navigate our environment. I think a part of growing up and maturing is becoming aware of the traits you have and what motivates you to do what you do, and then stepping back and looking at them and wondering, is that really who I am? And it's a difficult process. We've seen the pain that the characters go through searching for that, and I think that's true to life. It's very painful. It feels like you're falling apart when you start to uncover these things. But going through that pain of uncovering these things about yourself seems preferable to living blindly and being a slave to the past, a legacy that you didn't choose. This war is finally over. A hundred years of fighting has left the world scarred and divided, but with the Avatar's help, we can get it back on the right path and begin a new era of love and peace. All hail Fire Lord Zuko! Wow, what a journey for Zuko. And for Aang, for all of them. Is it his father or Azula? Banishing me was the best thing you could have done for my life. It put me on the right path. Mm hmm. That's Perhaps right. your time in here can do the same for you. Why are oh. you here? Where is my mother? Nice. That's great. I hope he finds her. You did it, Appa. It's all thanks to you. the last time we're going to see them all together. Zuko, stop moving! I'm trying to capture the moment! <laughs> this is not going to go well. I wanted to do a painting, so we always no. remember the good times together. That's very thoughtful of you, Sokka. That's, not, that's <laughs> not the way. <laughs> Wait, why did you give me Momo's ears? Those are your hair, Luffy. That's not bad, actually. I like it. My hair is not that spiky. I look like a man. And why did you paint me firebending? I, I thought it looked good. more exciting that way. Oh, you think you can do a better job, Momo? Hey, my belly's not that big anymore. I really trim down. Well, I think you all look perfect. <laughs> sad. So sad. Oh yeah, we still, have, we still have one more thing to wrap up. Wait, that leaves the romance kind of ambiguous. Oh, okay, here we go. I was about to say. Yeah, Aang just did his thing.
sad it's over. I'm very sad. What an amazing show. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's so good. It's just, it's incredible. I never knew, I didn't know what I was getting into, honestly, when I started this show. It exceeded my wildest expectations. It's just so good in so many ways. I've talked a lot. As much as I've talked, I feel like there's a never-ending amount of things you can say about this show. I understand why it's still so popular all these years later, and why it's considered one of the best television shows of all time. As someone who sees media as a way to derive personal value, um, it's hard to think of anything else I could have asked for. It gave me a lot to think about. I started this series talking about the hero's journey, and taking on challenges, and um, a lot of the things I've talked about in the show have been <clears throat> a lot of the rants I've done in these videos have been me exploring issues I've been dealing with. And this show has helped me come to terms with a lot of things and helped me see things in new ways. And so I really appreciate that. It's helped me think about taking on challenges and <clears throat> being self-honest. I'm trying very hard not to cry. <laughs> Although I should cry because my videos where I cry always get lots of views. <laughs> For some reason. This show has helped me think about taking on challenges, personal responsibility, rising to the occasion, being self-honest, taking different points of view, thinking about who I really am and who I want to be, rather than having my life dictated by, by circumstance and mistakes of the past. There's a never-ending source of beauty in this show, and I'm going to be thinking about it for a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone who's followed this journey. It's been a lot of work, but it's been one of the most memorable experiences of my life, so. Thank you to everyone who's been so supportive during this series, who's, who's shared fun facts <laughs> and let me know things I missed and show me different perspectives and, and for keeping the comments really civil and kind and constructive even when we disagree. For all the words of support and encouragement, this journey was amazing and, and a lot of that was because of the support I got in this series. So thank you to everyone. And if you never watch the channel again, just know that I'm grateful and I'll always value this experience. So thank you. I'm trying to regain composure here. <laughs> this is a lot to take in. It's the end of the show. It's also the end of this YouTube journey. I think I'll probably do a longer reflection when I regain composure on this show. And I may do a couple other videos, like a long-awaited Q&A. And then we'll head to Korra. So I hope to see you there. But if not, I wish you guys the best. I wish you health and happiness. And I wish all of you good luck on your own hero's journeys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.